So this week, we're looking at audio, which has had a profound effect on the way we listen to music and the world around us. That's right. Prior to the late uh, 1800s, the most common way you obviously heard sound was from its physical source. So for example, if the brass band was playing in front of it, you actually heard the sound of the musicians playing. Or if you heard a vocalist singing, you heard the actual sound of her voice in the theatre or the concert hall. Or if you heard the sound of birds chirping, you actually heard it out in the field. Yeah, and I mean, some people get confused sometimes when they use the words, you know, sound and audio interchangeably, but there is a difference. Absolutely. Sound is actually the air pressure fluctuations emanating from the physical source, whereas when we consider audio, audio is the encoding or the storing of those air pressure fluctuations in some kind of medium. So in the case of a singer, when we see a singer and we hear her sing on stage, we get those air pressure fluctuations directly from the singer. But in the case of, say, a recording of a singer, we're only getting a reproduction of what was stored in that medium. So if we're thinking about audio, you know, while audio has changed things really dramatically for us, the internet plus audio has had a really profound impact both on you know, the way we listen to audio and you know, the music industry as a whole. I guess the significant thing is when we hear the natural world, such as birds, the ocean, wind, we're hearing sound that's emanating from the actual physical source. But most of the time when we listen to music these days, we're listening to a reproduction of those musicians playing, whether it be a compact disc or an MP3 player. So in that case, the sound is actually physically isolated from the source, so we're not in the same physical location as where those musicians were when they recorded it. And that's made essentially all of the world's music available to us, right in our very own pocket, on our phone, on our portable MP3 player. So in summary, audio is the representation, transfer, storage and creation of sound using some sort of technology. If we think of the modern world, most of the sounds we hear you know, are mediated by technology rather than being in the real world. Absolutely, and we're going to be exploring some of that in our next segment on digital audio, looking at components and the best way to work with digital audio.